By me, it's always waffles. Here's your peppermint wafer, Ajax. It's good for your complexion. That's right, Ajax. And also keeps your breath sweet. Ah, oh, what is home without a pig? <laughs> there you are, Ajax. That's it. <laughs> Look at that, will you, Blodgett? Isn't it cute? <laughs> hey! Huh? Stop! Would you strike a tailor with a pig in his arms? No, no. Can you press a pair of pants while I wait? Yes, where are these pants? Well, they're right here. I got them on. That's all I want to know. Well, I'm in a hurry. Places, everybody. <laughs> Stand right over here, please. Quick. Where? Where? Grab the trapeze. Yes. Up the old. Hey! Hey, what is this? Hey, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Hey, what's the idea? The man on the flying trapeze. Wait right there. Wait. Hey! I can't wait here like this. Getting to be a dude, eh? Wait in there. Where? There. Clear the deck for action. Oh, boy. I'll sew some sleeves in that and wear it. I'll file for future reference anyway. What do you want, anyway? Pardon me, sir. What is it? I want a suit press. It's a rush job. You won't need that. Step right here. Grab that trapeze. Places, everybody. What? What's that? All right. Suit? Excuse I'm my mother. No. What's no, the matter now? No, no, not my suit. Well, whose suit do you want, Press? It's in there. Well, why didn't you say so? I it's in the bag, eh? Yeah? I'll see if you're telling the truth. I'll see. I'll wait it. Get easily, gently, please. Hey, Jax. While nobody's looking, I'll cook up some more waffles. Stand a piece of goods, that. Yeah. Don't touch, Maul. Well, you'll never need these buttons on the back there. Now, sir, those are to be cleaned and pressed. Yes. And delivered to Mr. Will I. Tinker. Will I. Tinker. Chemical Trust Building. Chemical Trust Building. Just a moment, sir. What's the matter? Are you sure that that'll come out? Stop right there. That's an insult. Oh. Oh. Our work speaks for itself. Oh. Pardon me, sir. That's all right. And thank you. That's all right again. Oh, thank you again, sir. It's all right. Bell! Hard guy to do business with, that fellow. Hey! Where are my pants? Pants? What pants? Oh, I remember you now. You're the gentleman who's waiting for his pants. I oh, stop right there. Keep your shirt on. I'll get them for you. You better. Oh, my, my. I don't like the looks of this. I hope that guy likes waffles. Hey, Blodgett. What's the matter? Oh, you should watch these things. Here you are. Put them on while they're piping hot. Why, I can't wear those pants. Oh, why not? Why, they're ruined. Look, waffles. Well, what are you kicking about? Put some maple syrup on them and you can eat them. Oh, yeah? A wise guy. Oh, I've been around a little, yeah. I'll fix you. What's the matter? What are you going to do? Get on there. What's the trouble? Get up on there and stay there. Oh, I get it. You want to play. <laughs> We're not dressed. 
nothing. <laughs> farf, farf, farf. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Uh, your car is waiting, Mr. Tinker. I'll be right out. And how about my suit? Oh, that's to be delivered at the office, sir. Good. Well, darling, this is the big day. The Laird of Loch Lu arrives on the Olympic this afternoon. Well, even if this Laird is the big munitions king of Scotland, I hope he doesn't stay here till the next war. Oh, no, no. He'll only stay overnight. Just long enough for me to sell him my new explosive, Destructo. Maybe. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to put it away. Then you'd better. Yes. Ah, uh, there it is. Destructo will revolutionize explosives. It's ten times more powerful than dynamite. Why, this little piece is enough to blow up the house. Please be careful of it, Willie. Oh, yes. The slightest concussion will cause it to explode. You shouldn't keep it in the house. But, darling, our fortune's in this little box. I hope so. Well, I'm going to put it away now. We'll be safe. <laughs> well, I must get to the office. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, oh, there's a pig that's not to be sneezed at. Well, what's that? Sounds like another pig. Hootman! Hootman, me eye. That sounds like a hoot owl to me. What are you selling? Nothing. I'm the Laird de la Flu, and I just got off the boat. Why? I want to clean up a bit. I see you charge 15 cents to press a pair of pants. That's right, Arc Louis. Will you press my kilt for a nickel? Nothing doing. 50 cents is our price for kilt. That's highway robbery. All right, sue us. I'll tell you what I'll do. What? I'll pay you a nickel for the loan of the iron and press them myself. Let me figure up on that. Six and seven, eight, seven and six, eight, two. No dice, Lock Louis. I'll press your kilts for 10 cents if I don't have to deliver them. Take it or leave it. It's a deal. Fair enough. Oh, my tent! What's the matter? What's the matter? I'll bring you for that. Ta -ta. Take it easy, partner. He knows his business. Why, certainly. Why don't you just relax a little? That's all. Relax? Sure. Oh, that's a good idea. That will save me the price of a hotel. Uh -huh. Where can I sleep? Right back here. I'll show you. Come you to need me. hurry with a coat. I'll not be needing to tell this afternoon. Send me up some ice water, some writing paper, a pen and ink, and a blotter. And a stamp. I'm going to make a lot of money out of that bird. I hope not. Roger, whatever are you doing? 58. That scotch was a sport, all right. Does that give me a great idea to boost our business? What is it? I'll show you. Good morning, Mr. Tinker. Oh, scotch thistles. Yes, for the Laird of Loch Lou. <laughs> oh, say, those things stick. Your suit just came from the tailor's. Oh, take it out of the box. I want to wear it to the dock to meet the Laird. Mr. Tinker, look. Oh, it's ruined. Who did that? Oh, crotch and blotch it, eh? I'm going out and kill those tailors. I tell you, think. There's the Laird now, and I wasn't there to meet him. His boat must have docked early. Oh, I hope this hasn't queered my deal. Our shores, lad. Hootman, mister. I'm sorry I missed your boat. Boat? What boat? Oh, the boat, yes. Uh, meet Blodgett, my confidential advisor. Hootman, buddy. And Ajax, my pig. Hootman, Ajax. Well, you're holding up the freight. We got to get busy. Oh, no, no, no. You mustn't go to a hotel. I wasn't. You're to go right to my house. My wife's expecting you. She'll make you feel at home. Good. That's the best proposition we've had today. <laughs> Step right over to my car, lad. Why does he call you lard? Must be on account of the pig. <laughs> He's here, fair child. Nice job you got here. Step right in. Uh, Fairchild will take you right to the house. Oh, the house of Fairchild. No, no, no. Station house. No, no, my house. Oh, that's different. I'll phone my wife. You're on the way. Tell her to get a friend for Blodgett. And one for Ajax. <laughs> oh, here he comes now. Mrs. Tinker on the phone. Oh, thank you. Hello, hello, honey. Yes? Yes, the Laird's on his way to the house now. What? 
Yes, I'll phone the guest and arrange for a luncheon instead of a dinner party. Uh, what? No, no, not at all. Quite the contrary. A little eccentric, you know, so be nice to him. Humor him, you see? Because it means a fortune to us! There they are. I've heard a couple of funny things about you, too. <laughs> and this is Blodgett. Charm. About what? Bless you, my children. Blodgett, here's one of the best pants pressers in the business. What? Tut, tut, it's a gift. And last but not least, Ajax. Ajax, the pig? Oh, uh, but he's more like a pal than a pig. Oh, isn't he cute? Oh, uh, but not like you. Well, hardly. <laughs> Would you like to go upstairs and rest? No, we'll stay here. There's more room for Ajax to run around in. Could I take your pipe? Stop to... right there. Those are borrowed. Pardon me, sir, but haven't I seen that face before? Not on me, you haven't. Perhaps I better take the pig outside. Stop! Unhand that swine. He stays right here. What's good enough for Ajax is good enough for me. Right. You may go, me. Outside, Chut. Won't you be seated? Thank you. You fiend! You sat on my pig! No, it's the bagpipe. There's the pig. Oh, all is forgiven. Oh, come here, Ajax. <laughs> oh, he's crying. What he needs is a mother's care. Here you are. Fondle it. Move over, Ajax. Ah, oh, this is Arcady. Mr. and Mrs. Wolfgang Arbenich. Oh, pardon me. I could sue you for salt and battery for that. But I won't. Where's Ajax? I heard him cry. He was here a minute ago. <coughs> there he is, over there. <coughs> In all his glory. So nice of you. Come, Mr. and Mrs. Arbenich. I want you to meet the Laird of Loch Loon. Dealers! Dealers! Oh, Westy, me, I've been robbed! Oh, this is an outrage! And Mr. Blodgett. And Ajax, our pig. May I have the honor to present Mr. Fink, Laird? Hootman, Mr. Fink. And Mrs. Fink. Hoot, Mammy, Mrs. Fink. Would you like to have your pants pressed? Sir? I was speaking to Mr. Fink, Mrs. Fink. And Mr. Blodgett. And Ajax, our pig. <laughs> And there, this is Mr. Hart's blood. Lair, Hart. Oh, wow! Who is this granite-headed bird? Mr. Hart's blood is one of our leading bankers. He nearly banked me in the side pocket. <laughs> you know, Lad, I've been in Scotland. You have? Well, tell me, what kind of a place is it? <laughs> oh, now you're uh, joking. I'm not joking. I see you're from Killacranky. You won't come outside and make a crack like no, that. No, 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 no. The plaid of your kilts show the clan you belong to. Stop right there. That's an insult. I'm from the Catch is Catch clan, and I'll wrestle you for that. Oh. <laughs> Get it to hold on in there. <laughs> you kill a cranky. I'm not kill a cranky. You are. I'm not. Well, Chutney, is the laird here? Oh, yes, sir. And uh, how are things going? Oh, Mr. Tinker. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Well, you can see for yourself, he certainly is eccentric. Why? Oh, Still kill a cranky. It's not kill a cranky. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Oh, hello. Well, we got here all right. <laughs> What? What's happened? Oh, just a little misunderstanding is all. Have you met Mr. Hart's blood? Why, of course. Good. Lead? Now what is it? You're from Killacranky. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Killacranky. <laughs> How can you argue with a fellow like that? You certainly have some eccentric guests here. We certainly have. Luncheon is served. Hooray, lunch! Down, Here's Blodgett. where we get even. Down, Blodgett. Laird, will you lead the way? No, you folks go ahead. I'll join you later. I want to rock Ajax to sleep. Well, what's the delay? Come on. <laughs> Ajax, quit eating the furniture. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful bathroom. Now, Ajax, be a real good little pig and go to sleep while I get something to eat. Stay right there. Oh, so you're hungry too, huh? All right, I'll see if I can get you something. 
Nitric acid. Well, I can't give you that in the daytime. Sulfuric acid. Oh, boy, you're a little too young for that, eh, Jack? Nitroglycerine. Say, that's dangerous. Careless people around here. Oh. Ajax, a peppermint wafer, just the thing that you love. Here you are, Ajax, there you are. Ah, there you are, Laird. <laughs> this is just the opportunity I've been waiting for. Let's get down to business. Business? What business? Destructo. Destructo? Will it take spots out of clothes? <laughs> Will it? And how? <laughs> and we're interested. But before I show you the real Destructo, I want to give you a practical demonstration. And a piece of goods. Now, take a look at these few tiny little particles. You see, they're no bigger than grains of sand. So what? Now watch closely and stand back. What are you going to do, a trick? No, but I'm going to show you that the slightest concussion will cause Destructo to explode. Well, what do you think of that? Sure would take the spots out of clothes, all right. I'm afraid it's a little too noisy for Ajax. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll show you an ounce of Destructo. Powerful enough to blow up City Hall. Well, in certain towns, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> I must be very careful. It's extremely dangerous to handle. Here it is. It's gone! Good heavens, this is terrible! Uh, uh, what did it look like? About that size, round, thin, and white. Like a pe pe peppermint wafer? Yes, and the slightest concussion will cause it to explode. No! <laughs> Ajax! Ajax, don't do that. I'm asking you like a friend and a brother. Here, maybe milk will drown the disgusto. Uh, Blodgett, you better hold your pet. I think I'll go in the dining room and get a bite to eat. Well, uh, I'll be seeing you, I hope. I'll go, too. Uh, no, Blodgett, I think uh, you better stay in here. They uh, don't allow pigs in the dining room. Well, I'll eat eggs that's here. Get this pig out of here. He's liable to step on the Destructo. Okay. <laughs> Put that pig down. Ajax ate the Destructo. No! Gently, gently, gently. <laughs> well, Laird, what can I get for you? Uh, not a thing, thank you. Uh, we've got to be going. Uh, but, Laird, uh, then your business is finished? It will be if we don't get out of here. Laird. Lad, he's a pig. Oh, you take it, Margaret. You take it. No. Goodbye, Goldie. Don't move, anybody. Stand in your tracks. I can't find my Destructo. Destructo? What's that? An explosive, powerful enough to blow up a battleship. And the slightest concussion will cause it to explode. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, everybody. Keep, 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 keep cool. Mr. Tinker, I know where your Destructo is. You do? Where? I, I thought it was a peppermint wafer, and I fed it to my pig. Oh, where is your pig? Right here on the chair. He's gone. But where can he be? Oh! The pig. The Destructo. He ate it. Explosion. As long as he squeals, we're safe. <laughs> Stop him before he hits something. Oh. I'll stalk him like an elk. <laughs> Listen, Ajax, take it easy. Don't move, will you? Let me look at you. Oh, thank goodness you didn't swallow it. Oh, save. Ajax is himself again. Here's your destructo. Oh, boy, are we lucky the pig didn't swallow it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? I'm the Laird of Loch Lou. The Laird? Aye. Well, who is this? He's an imposter. He's stolen my coat. Hey, hey. He's stolen my coat. Don't do that. He's even stolen the hat. Ah! Whatever you do, don't touch that, please. So, you're not the Laird, eh? I never said I was. I'm Crotch. This is Blodgett. We're tailors. Crotch and Blodgett. Tailors? You know us, eh? Oh, I've got a present for you. Hey. Hold it. <laughs> Just a minute. Me first. Crotch and Blodgett, destructive. Oh, my Oh, mother. Sweetheart. <laughs> Little pig, what now? 